Hey guys, so welcome back to my channel. If you have been following me, you know that I post every Tuesday a weigh-in video. Today's not Tuesday. I wanted to make this video because I have been feeling something that I think a lot of us in this weight loss community on YouTube are feeling. I feel like, I feel defeated. And the reason is because of a number on a scale. I'm allowing myself to be defined by that number on the scale. And I thought that if I made this video, one for you, but probably mostly for me, that I might help myself to get out of the slump that I'm currently in. I think I'm so used to doing crash diets. You know, the 30 day juice cleanse. I did this thing called the rice diet where it was more complicated than just eating rice, but it basically eliminated salt from your diet. And I remember doing it for 30 days and I lost like 30 pounds. Now we all know that that's not healthy. We know that's not healthy. And of course I gained it back as soon as I had something with a tiny bit of salt in it. This time I'm trying to approach this truly as a journey and less of a, wow, in 30 days I better show results. Otherwise it was all for nothing. So as you know, I've been trying to do keto for the last three weeks, and this would be the final week. Um, I said I was gonna do it for 30 days, and then I would show you guys like a progress video where I would show my measurements, but I'm pretty sure the results on Tuesday are not gonna be outrageous. They're not gonna be, wow, look how much weight she lost. <sighs> And look, I know, I know that it's not about those results. I know that, I know that it's not about those results. I know that it's not about achieving like the most weight loss possible in the shortest amount of time. We're talking about my life, right? We're talking about this as a journey. I just feel that I get to this point where suddenly I'm thinking to myself, gosh, if I haven't gotten the results that I kind of imagine that I would get after 30 days of super hard work, then why am I still doing this and this is where I start to self-sabotage this is the moment and I'm making this video because I want to catch myself in the act before I go down that dark dark rabbit hole known as self-defeat depression anxiety nothingness the darkness I don't want to be down there so that's why I'm making this video to hold myself accountable and to see if anyone else can relate to this I'm a perfectionist deep deep down and some people might not think that people who are overweight are perfectionists because well if they're perfectionists then why are they overweight okay now calm down I can be a perfectionist and also be overweight and struggle with certain addictions and um, issues with eating so this is how it goes oh well you know you aren't uh, doing what you said you were gonna do you haven't really lost a whole ton of weight, so why are you suffering? Why are you not eating french fries? Why aren't you going to McDonald's? It's right down the street, which it totally is. It's right down the street in this new place that I'm living in. So <laughs> then I say to myself, okay, well, yeah, go, go, uh, go, go eat. Black and white thinking right there, self-sabotage. I don't want to live my life like that anymore. I don't want to be somebody who thinks in black and white categories like that. I want to be proud of how far I've come, where I'm going, the present moment, and not think to myself, because I don't have this incredible results video where I get to put up this really cool thumbnail of my body before and after for you guys. I don't think I'll ever be able to show my body the way that some of you guys do. I, I'm so impressed by that. But just because I don't have that special thumbnail for YouTube doesn't mean that I'm a failure. It doesn't mean that. And so, yeah, I'm, I'm struggling right now mentally with this journey and I just wanted to be real with everybody, but I am committed to putting out my video that's gonna be there on Tuesday. I am committed to putting that out there and I'm committed to sharing my progress thus far and just charting it week after week after week after week for as long as I feel like this is helping me. If you can relate, please comment. If you have any words of encouragement, I would so appreciate that right now. I am, I'm just trying really hard not to give up on myself this time. Okay, well, that's all I wanted to say and I will see you on Tuesday.